to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul and some peppermint mocha uh, coffee with a little peppermint schnapps like you do at the holidays. Alex, be nice. I have the fireplace on beside me. And the boys are in front of it. All right, I have a Dollar Tree haul. Nothing crazy, not a lot, but I wanted to share. So let's get started. I got some catnip. I actually bought this and I put it in the blankets that I made. If you watched my Vlogmas the other day, I made some cat blankets and I got two of these, but I only needed one. I have Dover Time. Um, oh, for my brother, I got him a couple pair of the diabetic socks. He likes those. Nothing exciting. Ooh. Let's go this way. This is exciting. Um, I got a jade roller. Now I think I have all of the things. So I had the metal roller, and now I have the jade roller. And they're just mini. So what, in the morning I can leave them in the fridge, take them out when I'm doing my coffee, and roll my face. This one I have been seeing on TikTok. This is a gua shan, gua shan? Yeah, gua shan jade. I'm gonna say shenanigans on the jade, but what do I know? But what I've been seeing, so I have been seeing people with sinus issues using this to like, drain their lymph nodes like your ears and your sinuses up here and you rub it and it gets the fluid moving out of your sinuses and we're gonna try it i don't know but it's cool i feel like you could also use this in pottery just saying but it's a gua on i mean it definitely is glass of some sort jade questionable same thing with the roller are they jade? I don't know. But I got those for funsies. I picked up two of these foam Christmas trees because I saw, again, on TikTok, because apparently I'm all about the TikTok, I saw a lady, I'm taking something out of this bag so I can put trash in it. I saw a lady make a 50s style, like, lady she took she had the cardboard one but i think the foam will work fine and she hot glued which maybe it won't i don't know she hot glued pipe cleaners all around it and made like a dress so then i was like well i need a head so i grabbed a barbie to rip its head off is that weird i feel like it might be and put it on the top of this right? And then you put some little arms. I don't know. It looked like a fun craft. So yeah, I bought these. Am I going to get it done for Christmas? I don't know, but I got two Barbies so I can rip their head off. That sounds barbaric. I know, but I needed heads and I, I don't, I didn't have any. So we'll just put that aside. But if I do it, I will make a video. How about that? And I should find the picture from the TikTok and show you because it's super cute. So we did that. Then I found, and I bought these before and I love them. It's just the winter season adult coloring book. I love these things. Uh, get some colored pencils out and go to town. Oh, look at that owl. And I just think it's very relaxing to sit in the evening, watch TV or whatever. And it just keeps my hands busy. So I grabbed that, that's a repeat. Um, this is a repeat by my work. People seem to like the peppermint marshmallows for the hot chocolate bar I set up. So I got some more. I'll put that in my work bag. Now, this I'm super excited about. Wait, there's more things in here than that. Okay, we got lots of stuff here. Let's, let's tidy up, shall we? We'll leave the gifting. I mean, they're not really gifting. I'm just going to be seeing my brother at next this weekend. This weekend. Coming up. So, 
here we go. I had to go upstairs for my crafty business. Okay, if you do Elf on a Shelf or know somebody who does Elf on a Shelf, I found at my Dollar Tree these little maple syrups and they're like elf size. Your elf could have be holding one of these and then you could do pancakes or breakfast for dinner. So I grabbed a couple because I'm going to take some to work for my, um, one of my work colleagues does elf on a shelf with her children. And so I'm going to bring this in for her to put out with the elf. And this is, I mean, fantastic. If you do any kind of, they have all the little gift baskety stuff, but if you took one of the Santa cup or the snowman mugs, the big one, and you could put a little syrup in there and maybe some coffee, or you could put like a little pancake mix, a little syrup, I mean, just something fun. But these are adorable and it is 100% maple syrup. Yeah. Grade A, amber color, rich taste. It's 100%. I'm gonna put a little dash in my coffee, just a little bit because of the sugar, but just a little touch into my coffee because that's how I roll. Um, I picked up these pens for Sarah. I did a little, um, I'm working on it, it's not done yet, but so this weekend I'm doing Christmas with my brother, so Sarah's father, my sister-in-law, uh, Ellen, and Michael, Sarah's boyfriend, and Michael's parents are coming up. So I'm not exchanging gifts with Sarah and Michael. I'm just exchanging gifts with my brother. So I'm still working on one of Sarah's gifts, and that's the her like office supply thing. And she loves pink, and these zebra pens are fantastic. And really, that's a good deal for a dollar twenty-five for one pen. Um, and they write well, and she loves pink, and it is black ink. So she'll get this with her little bag I am working on, which is, I'm pointing because it's over there. And then we just have a couple more things and that's it. Um, I got another pack of gift labels. I love these. And let's just look at that hot pink coffee cup. These are adorable. They have the set in the mint green, the pink and gold. I think it's all the same stickers. It's just the colors in here. Um, and on the back, but these are great. I've been using them this year and I thought, well, I'll just throw these in with my gift wrap and I'll have them for next year. So I like to have, I have a box that I keep all of my gift wrapping stuff in because that's what I do. Um, yeah, just a couple things. I saw this. I do love a loofah. I, I use these you know, but you only use them for just a little while. But look at this. It has a handle. It's plastic. And then I put my shower gel. I like to do a little exfoliating when I'm in the shower. I have dry skin and it kind of helps sloth off some of the dry. But it's nice and plump. So I grabbed it. Um, I just bought a new one. So I'll put this in my closet. And when it's time to rotate, I have this one to rotate. Also would make a fantastic stocking stuffer or basket filler um, because it's kind of big, but it's also great. And if people use those in the shower, they use them. Uh, this I got, let me find the trash bag here. This is a gag, part of a gag gift. So if you didn't see my vlog the other day, my brothers, my brother and I, my oldest brother who's coming, his is already wrapped. We we gift each other pictures of ourselves in all different variety of ways. Um, if you have been around a while, you'll remember the air freshener with his face on it that hangs in my car. I did throw it away, it shriveled up. Um, so when I was making pictures, I made a picture collage of myself. And this is for my other brother to put in his apartment. The one that I helped take care of. So I got a cheap frame because he'll probably throw it away. So I'm going to have to frame this and wrap it for that bro the brother that I got the diabetic socks for. And yeah, he's going to have a whole picture collage of me. Isn't that fantastic? I think it's fantastic. So I just need to open this up, put it in here and do a little gift wrapping um, before Friday, which is fine. Today is Tuesday. And put that away and then the last thing I got was in the five dollar section and this is for my party coming up this weekend and it is a drink dispenser but it's a Christmas tree so let's see 
it is a cold drink dispenser, $5. The tree top comes off so you can fill it and then you put that back on. They had them in white, red, and green, but I thought the green was appropriate. And the cool thing is for cleaning, this unscrews and will come off um, the spigot. And you just put your drink in here and then you squeeze it and dispense. So I think we're gonna put for a little dinner that we're having, um, we're getting some sugar-free iced tea because two of the people like that. So I thought we would fill this with the sugar-free, with the sugar-free iced tea and then put some red Solo cups near it and most of us will drink it. I mean, I will drink it, my brother will drink it and Michael's mother will drink it. So I thought that would be fun and then we'll have soda and stuff, but I just like it. And then I can bring it home and you just wash it out, soap and water. I am 100% sure it is hand wash. It is not for hot liquid, not recommended for use in microwave or dishwasher, hand wash only. Which does not surprise me. I'm peeling labels off the bottom as we speak. So yeah, I'll just go run some hot soapy water through it and it'll be ready for Friday. Saturday, I lie. Saturday. And maybe I'll share. I probably won't share. I mean, I am taking one to work tomorrow. How about that? To give to my friend, like I said, my colleague who has um, littles. She has littles, like little young ones. And she does all the shenanigans with her elf. So I'm like, well, your elf needs some maple syrup. So I'm bringing that. And that's everything I got. I haven't seen too much new stuff yet. Oh, excuse me. I'm anticipating the spring stuff should be coming out soon since it's Christmas. So I'm assuming they'll start bringing in like the spring reset. And speaking of, in my office, my craft room office, I bought from the Dollar Tree that brass wall grid that they had. It's hanging up and it's fine, but I want something bigger and a little more sturdy. So I'm going to take that down and I'm going to go to Ikea and get their pegboard. And then I'm going to get a bunch of accessories for it. I'm going to do that after the first of the year. And then mount it on my wall over my craft table to hold my glue and my buttons and pins and all the things that I use on the regular. I'll put it up on the wall. But I will, of course, bring you along. I went and priced it. One big square rectangle of the pegboard is like $27, which, eh. Um, but then the rest is um, like $10, $5, $10 for the different pieces. It's not terrible. I anticipate spending about $100 to do the entire pegboard, but I will get it set up and then I can maybe get like some of the things put away that are all over my table is my thought. So that is everything tonight. I'm gonna cross stitch a little bit. Um, I finished wrapping all the presents I currently have minus these couple things right here are wrapped. Like everything is wrapped. And yeah. We're all done. I'm ready for Christmas. I will. I have a few more things to purchase between now and Christmas. Christmas for like friends and stuff. But my family's done, and that's always my priority: get my family done, and then I can move on to friends. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this really quick Dollar Tree haul, and I hope you're enjoying all the daily vlogs I've been putting out. It's been a lot of fun going through all my advent calendar. Oh, one more thing I forgot because I was using it. I bought this little fidget toy, just a little strawberry. It has nine little pop circles. I've been using it to count my rows when I cross, I mean, when I crochet, like I was making something the other night and it said I needed to do five rows. So at every row, I just push in one of the bops until I got to the fifth row. And then I knew that I had finished all my rows and then I unpop them all. And this has nine, so I can use this for every 10 rows. Because once I do all the nine, and then the next row will be the 10th row. And then start over. So these are really cool for that to use if you're doing any type of knitting, crochet, or you're having to count rows. This comes in handy because every time you circle back, you just push it in. And now you know how many rows you finished. I saw this on Instagram, maybe, or TikTok or something questionable but I did see it so yeah there's that okay now that's everything so I hope you enjoy and that you are having a fantastic holiday season and I will talk with you tomorrow bye